All right, so I don't have too much time today, but I just came home from going out into the city center and, well, there were like no people there. I went very early because I have to wake up very early in the morning tomorrow. And I decided, hey, let's just go there. Let's get, you know, properly dressed, get my hair done, you know, look all great, meet some ladies. But then there weren't many ladies. So I decided, you know, why would I waste my time wandering around an empty city center when instead I can go home, pour myself a nice glass of sangria, which very girly drink, I'm aware of that, but it's delicious and I love it, and play some WoW. So I have been super busy outside of my YouTube channel. Some stuff has been content creation related where I'm casting League of Legends amateur games, but also just been working out a ton, been trying to, you know, still have an active social life somewhat. There's a lot of stuff going on and I've been feeling my projects creeping up on me. I had a nice backlog, which I'm very happy about. But the backlog is soon no longer a backlog, and that is worrisome. I'm gonna have to put in some time. But the question is, if I were a murloc gobbler, where would I... Oh, that's where I'd be. I'd be right over there. I will be literally right over there, exactly where my mouse is. This, this position is exactly where I would choose to be. This is where I would have made the choice to build my life. This is where I would also give up my life and surrender it to this super handsome gnome. Look at him. There we go. Perfect. Gobbler's head. We got it. Quest is done. On to the next one. That was perfect. All right, so I guess I can go look for some crocolisks because I only need four skins, which sounds pretty good. But then again, there is a decent chance that every crocolisk somehow has about a 4% chance to actually have skin on him, which makes biological sense somehow. In the marshes right outside of town. So, are these also marshes? Black Channel Marsh. Well, it sure has March in the name. Black Ooze. Raptors. More Raptors. Probably not here. I will go the other way. I've also been giving some thought about what I want to do next in this MMO series. And that doesn't mean that I'm done with this game because obviously I'm still very far from level capping and I do intend to do some end game as well if I can. So there's still a lot, lot, lot left in this series. But I am thinking about what I want to do next. And I have a couple of options. And if you're watching this right now, and, you know, you want to have your input. Also, there are the crocodiles, so that's really nice. Um, if you want to have your input, then definitely put a comment down and I will take it into consideration because I have a couple of options and I'm not really sold on either one of them. I'm thinking uh, one of the options is I'll go straight into retail where I can then kind of use my experiences from other games combined with the experiences I've now gotten in the classic game and then I can really contrast that to how retail does things and try and, and just kind of compare how the two games match up and, you know, where where I think it went well, where I think the game went wrong and, you know, things that maybe I feel like should have been different, you know, I can kind of try and break those things down. I think that is probably the most logical next step. Uh, what I can also do is I can also go to a completely different game. I have two games on my mind. Uh, one of them is New World, which is a game that I've only ever played the beta of when it came out. And I've probably played about two, three hours tops. I know vaguely what kind of game it is. I've seen some gameplay of it. I've seen some of other, some other YouTubers play through it a little bit. But that's mostly like highlight stuff. 
so I am very much not familiar with the game's well, core systems. And that would be very interesting to try as well, especially since it's a very different type of MMO. And then I guess I also kind of want to do the same thing I've done for for a WoW in Final Fantasy XIV, where I've tried the game a couple times. I have fallen off the wagon because I felt like the game's combat didn't grab me. But then again, I had the same thing with WoW, and I'm still really enjoying my time even, you know, now that I'm getting like half of the cap. So potentially I can fix the issues there as well. All right. That is way too much ranting about other stuff that really doesn't serve a purpose right now. But I did want to kind of just ramble on for a bit. Also, I am not sure because it says I need young crocolisk skins. And these are wetland crocolisks. So potentially I, I need weaker versions of the crocolisks. <laughs> Like, if I'm thinking the marshes right outside of town, I'm thinking, like, this is town. So probably, like, this part, like, over here, you'd think. Potentially. Yeah, young wetland crocolisks. Here they are. I just went way too far. But hey, now I know where their bigger versions are in case I do need them later. All right, there we go. Young crocolisk skin number four. Four. That's two quests done. Now let's see which one I can do next. So I have well a couple different ones. So Sida's bag, um, the oozes, one of the oozes at Iron Beard's tomb. Iron Beard's tomb is northeast of here, near Don Mother. So, northeast of here, so north, east of here, near Don Mother. Now, we haven't seen Don... I feel like I'm saying, like, your mother in some weird language or something, like Don Mother. Sounds like... I'm saying, like, I don't know. Something. So, I'm going to guess it's, like, somewhere up there, because it's northeast, so probably somewhere up there. So, we'll we'll move there later. Uh, we also have, also have something about Dragon Maw War Banners. And for these, now that I've gained strength and have an encampment northeast of Manathil. Northeast once again. Is it Sundown March? Is that it? Have they mentioned that? I don't see it. But it's both northeast so far. And then. Um, we have the third fleet as well. And for that one. Oh, by first mate Fitzsimmons, a flagon of meat. So I have to go and just buy that somewhere. Okay. Anyway, I'll look that one up later. Or I'll, I'll try to figure that one, that one out later, is what I mean. Um, what I'll do for now is I'll just walk northeast. And it'll probably be somewhere like here or here. But I guess we just haven't uncovered this path because we haven't been at the particular place where the map unfogs. So I guess I'll go here and then up here and then we'll, we'll see. I'll see you guys when I find something. Oh, apparently my webcam is stuck. And I don't know how long it's been stuck for. It may have been stuck for a very long time already. So you will have been hearing my voice, but my face will have remained incredibly still. Let me fix that. Here we go. Damn, I look so shocked. I am back. Ladies, gentlemen, you no longer have to worry about me having some weird freezing in place reverse seizure attack. No, I, I am here. No worries. I'm fine. Oh, we have an arrow up here as well saying Don Mother, uh, that direction. So I've seen this arrow a lot and I've never really paid attention to the arrow. I think I should have been paying attention to the arrow because from my understanding, it just tells you, hey, there is like an undiscovered area of the map in that direction. Please go check it out. 
Ah, yes. Discovered Iron Beard's tomb. These are black oozes. And I am going to make the assumption here that the digging through the ooze quest is referring to these oozes who have taken the ooze covered bag. I like their design. They're pretty cool. They also attack much faster than I expected out of oozes. Where does this road go? No clue. Ah, there we go. Sida's bag is here. That's not a quest done. And now we have the Dragon Maw wall banners. For which I also need to head here, but probably a bit further up. I reckon that tower up there is Dunmarog. And... Wait, did I freeze again? Oh my god, look at my face. Hold on. Hold on, look at my, look at look at my face. Look at this guy. Look at this handsome guy. Dude, I'm stoned out of my mind apparently on this. Okay. Cool. See, normally I would do this in post, I'd be editing, you know, zooming in, doing all kinds of fancy stuff. No. No. I just changed my OBS layout. I literally just zoom in using my mouse button, stretching it. Right, here we go. Don't know what's going on. See? Don't worry. I'll play like this. You guys don't need to see the game, do you? Like, you're here to see me, right? Like, you don't need to see this black ooze that I'm hitting right now. You don't need to see bro human. Well, he's called Bromu Bromuan. Bromuhan. But bro human sounds much better. You, need, you don't need to see that. Okay, actually, yes, you do. So let me... What if I just do this? Like, I am tiny now. You can't even see if I'm freezing. I am tiny. I am everywhere. Actually, no, let me... Let me stop messing around. Let me stop trying to be funny. You know, we are playing World of Warcraft. It is serious business. We don't have time to try and be funny around here. You know, we're not a funny channel. We are a very serious, super hardcore gaming channel also i'm out of drink yes that's a sentence i'm out of drink and there's only ice left in here which is a bit sad but uh this is done mother it froze again what is going on i i i, I won't stand for this obs uh obs are, are you drunk Am I drunk? I don't even know at this point. I've only had like one drink, guys. I promise I'm not drunk. What I wanted to mention were multiple things, actually. I wanted to mention that we're at Dun Mother, but also the Arathi Highlands are up here, which sounds pretty cool. So I will go check that out in just a little bit. But we have a long braid to Grim, and we have to go to him for something. I can't remember for what, but we'll go to him and we will hear this nice dwarven speech. Here they are. Well, not yet, but soon. If there's one thing time has taught me, it's that there's no assignment is a dull one. Is that a proper accent? I don't know. Protecting the Thandal Span should have been an easy task, but with the brunt of the army fighting alongside the Alliance, we were overwhelmed here and done. Mother has fallen. Guys, I don't know if this is like some weird butchering of like an Irish language or something, but for me, this is dwarven. <laughs> This is Dwarven. Okay. Um, fall of Dun Mother. What brave adventurer sends word from Menethil? Ah, adventurer they call you. You bring hope to a hopeless situation. It is good news indeed that young Harlow survived. While fleeing, he received a grievous wound. We had but little time to send him on his way on the back of the only surviving steed with the regiment. But now we face a perilous situation. Dun Mother has fallen, and we are but a shadow of the great regiment we once were. All right, that makes perfect sense to me. Many of my soldiers died in the Battle of Don Mother. My own brother perished when the West Bridge over the Thandal Span was destroyed. Aye, the Dark Eye and Dwarves are a devilish breed. From what Rogo was able to gather, the leader of this band of thugs in the wetlands is a warlock named Balgaras the Foul. He is quite a coward, however. 
He sends his soldiers to do his bidding, but stays elusive, avoiding danger. If you can find the spineless scum, slay him and bring me his ear. I will reward you, adventurer. Okay. Kill Bulgaras the Foul and bring his ear. Oh, I read the word ear, guys, and I'm I'm just thinking back to the goblin ears from like episode eight or whatever. It's still like the fear, the PTSD, it's still within me. Also, whenever I'm not actively reading and I'm just kind of sitting here, like being conscious of the fact that I'm on webcam, I'm on camera. Well, now that I'm saying that, I'm frozen. I'm going to unfreeze myself in just a moment, but you know, th this is proving the point because of what I was thinking is I feel like you, you guys know those videos where you have one guy who is just like reacting to other content while not actually reacting. Like all he's doing is like pointing up like this guy is right, you know, like the st stupidest possible content especially when he is reacting to someone else reacting and he's just pointing like this guy reacting to this reaction content is great and you're like dude you're, you're literally adding no value that's what i feel like when i'm just sitting here listening to long braid the grim and i am back i don't know what's going on maybe my obs is being weird this better not keep on happening all right we accept. We accept your quest. We do it. Also, we're closing in on level 28. That is nice. Uh, there's also a motley garmazon.